What is going on everybody? It's Hayes Carlson coming back at you over here at Floyd's RV in beautiful Norman, Oklahoma. And today it's a little rainy, a little windy, a little cold over here for an April day, but you know that's not going to stop me from bringing you the hottest, newest, freshest RV content as soon as we get it in. And so today we are going to be talking about the Shasta 25 RS. I'm going to show you guys a lot of different things about it. What I like about it, kind of what sets it apart from the rest of the competition and its price point. And if you guys enjoy this video, hit that subscribe button. I'm so close to getting at 100. I'm at 96 last time I checked. If you do like this thing, subscribe, give me a comment, give me a like down below, all that good stuff. You know the drill, but let's get into it, guys. First things first, we'll start up here at the front. We've got the electronic tongue jack with a nice LED light here two 20 pound propane tanks our battery tray there nice rock guard with our shasta logo up here on the front and these guys have been doing it big since 1941. moving along here's our pass-through storage nice big pass-through here's our crank em ups right here and then we have the sanitize station so we've got a little sink on the outside little place to put our paper towels right here and guys this is fed into with hot and cold water but that does not return back into your plumbing system it'll go to this tank that's down here at the bottom so if you guys are anything like me and you like to go fishing this would make a perfect place to clean your fish man awesome stuff here nice magnet doors over here you know i love those moving along we'll have a nice big awning with an led strip underneath it our aluminum solid steps and we also got the handy dandy handle we've got our two marine grade speakers outside guys camping with shasta ease package now we'll have two gfci outlets on the outside our freshwater drain down here below right back there past the wheel now we'll have our fresh water connection and our antifreeze inlet to where we winterize the unit and moving along guys we do have a nice big storage area here in the back again with the magnet doors that we love so much nice and clicky hold up there nice and then we'll have the tailgate storage system by lippert here we do have the spare tire and then whenever we just pull these pins this guy will lay down giving you plenty of space to put something like an ice chest or some other cargo that you don't want to bring inside of the trailer now of course we are pre-wired for a backup camera up here on the top and then we'll have our 30 amp service supply here as well as an outdoor shower our city water connection our wastewater holding tank sewer outlet connection and our sewage holding tank so we've got our gray our outlet and our black tank handles right there now here is the hot for our Dometic right there. Now we'll have one big slide on this guy. One big, big slide here, back of our hot water system, and then our cable and satellite inlets right here. And here's the other side of our pass-through storage with that 30 amp cord. We do have some nice clicky lights in here. And then guys, this is pre-wired for ZAMP solar charging. So we are already wired to go, ready for ZAMP solar charging. So that's pretty much the outside. Let's get on the inside of this thing. Check this bad boy out. Guys, drop me a comment down below and let me know what some of your favorite parts about this RV are. All right. Guys, this is a bunkhouse model. So we have got the two full-size bunks both of these guys are going to have two USB ports there in the back on the top and on the bottom. Now the bottom is lucky enough to have our window there. And we do have the cover for our sink. I'm not sure why it was over there in the first place, but we do have our nice cover for the sink there. Now underneath our bunk beds, we're going to have a decent bit of storage under here. So you can put things like an ice chest or some other storage stuff, different totes underneath that. Now we are back for a TV right here, so we can mount our TV here on the wall. Prep for King Wi-Fi, and then we've got our uh, aux and satellite inlets there. Two more outlets for our TV. Let's check out this bathroom. In this bathroom, we've got the foot flush commode, 
nice tall shower with the shower curtain to go right along with that awesome awesome stuff and then we'll have our mirror with a medicine cabinet back behind two gfci outlets since we are near our water source we've got our little sink and some storage underneath that as well there's our small bathroom and then here we do have some more storage perfect place to put some towels or toilet paper or different stuff like that some nice stainless steel full extension sliding drawers We've got three of those bad boys and then here we will have our jackknife caps now this jackknife caps is really cool because you have this part in the middle that has two usb ports on both cup holders and then we also have the light button that's going to light up the inside of these cup holders too so we've got that going for us and like i mentioned guys this is a jackknife couch so we can sleep it out just like so and then put it back whenever we are not sleeping anybody and underneath this guy we are going to have a big storage compartment as well moving on to our kitchen guys we have the ever chill humongous biggest and coldest 12 volt 11 cube rv refrigerator out there designed and built for an rv environment this thing has turbo cool in our freezer so we've got that turbo cooling frost free it's going to make sure that everything in this guy is going to stay nice and cold without any freezer burn and it gets up to temperature in about an hour is what this says turbo cool it under one hour so really cool stuff humongous refrigerator we've also got the graystone microwave our attic fan to get rid of any hot air or unwanted odors our light and fan above the stove this guy is a three burner gas stove here i really do like this little backsplash that they're putting in these really cute and then in this graystone we do have the oven which is awesome underneath the sink plenty of storage here and then with this sink we do have the uh, extended nozzle with two different spray modes and then underneath the sink we've also got our dual stainless steel sink guys really awesome stuff now here's the thermostat for our coleman mock ac and you bet your butt this thing is going to get really cold as well as really hot do the job great for you here's our control panel to check our batteries fresh water black and gray one and twos now we'll have our water pump and then our gas or electric water heater our awning in and out lights one lights two and then our our room slide now we do have the four person dinette in this guy of course we're going to have some storage underneath and you know that we can put this thing down and turn it into a bed and we'll have the drive rv infotainment system guys so we got headphones usb hdmi aux cord bluetooth you name it this guy can do it we can also hook these guys up to the tv to get our tv sound going throughout because we do have speakers mounted inside like this guy we can also choose the different zones to play those outside now guys if you've watched my videos before you know that this thing is going to have the tough flex roofing system pvc roof super high reflectivity puncture resistant and bonding strength and it is sustainable material with a 20 year warranty guys that is huge huge big bad warranty on this thing now going into our bedroom we'll have the two pocket closets over here so we'll have this guy and matching one on the other side two usb ports and three prong outlets on both sides with a little cubby underneath here too again the two usbs and three prong outlets our pocket closet and of course we do have some storage overhead as well now you know that we have got our storage underneath the bed too so we could fit a lot of stuff in here here's our final cabinet overhead of the bed big time storage guys i'm a really big fan of these shastas i'm sure you can see why because at the price point that they are which is really not too terribly expensive they really do have a lot to offer from the huge warranty on the roof our enormous refrigerator this thing is definitely going to do the job biggest refrigerator on this kind of price point and i mean we're going to have stuff like the sanitized station outside 
just the way this thing is put together, you can tell that they really take their time and try to make a high quality product for their customers. So I'm a fan. I hope you guys are too. If you see yourself camping in this thing, let me know. I'm going to have my phone number, my email address, my Facebook page, my inventory website, as well as a link to Shasta's website so you can learn more about this floor plan and all the other cool stuff that they have to offer. But guys, if you've made it this far in the video and you haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and hit that button. Drop me a comment. Give the video a like. I always love to hear from you guys and see what you got to say about this, about me, about what you want to see, what you don't want to see. Always want some feedback from you guys, so go ahead and do that for me. But just like that, I'm going to get out of here and go film another video for you guys. Hope you're doing well. I'll catch you on the next one. See you later.